Well, the official start of summer is just two days away, and that means more surfers, a lot more surfers, are going to be in the water, and with that, there'll be plenty of surfing injuries. Dr. Scott Leary from the Senta Clinic at Alvarado Hospital joining us this morning, and you say that the biggest mistake that people make before they get in the water is really not knowing the water conditions. Well, definitely. I mean, if you're an expert surfer, that's one thing, but if you're someone who's maybe new to San Diego or you know, wanting to explore San Diego and pick up something like surfing or, or bodyboarding. Or just a new surfer. Or just a new surfer, exactly. Um, you really want to understand a little bit about the conditions before you just jump in. Um, you know, one of the biggest things, too, is preparing appropriately. You know, there can be so many in the weekend warrior syndrome, for example. Right, right. Sure. So people don't have the proper equipment when they get out there? Is that what you're talking about? Absolutely. If your wetsuit doesn't fit properly, you know, that's, that's a big issue. Or if you're just not in shape. You know, you want to work on your core, your balance, so that you have power and stability when you're on the board. So, you know, things like core exercises with your abs and your back, your shoulders, your glutes, squats, those, those sorts of, uh, you know, workouts and exercises will get you in shape. So you're less likely to, you know, suffer a serious injury. So yeah, definitely prepare before you get out there. And then when you get out there, if you realize, hey, you know, the, the conditions are a little rough, maybe it's, maybe it's time to get out. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, one of the big issues about conditions is not just so much the wave, but understanding the location that you're surfing. And really, the understanding the bottom is a real important issue. So a place like La Jolla Shores, for example, is really mellow and it's a beach break and there's not any a lot of rocks or uh, reef but other locations like some of the best surf locations in the world are on reefs and that's a really shallow bay a really shallow bottom so if you can imagine if you're surfing a reef with a shallow bottom and you are inexperienced and you take a fall you know, you're a setup for a disaster in that sort of situation. Yeah, and, and it's really easy to find out. You just, you know, you tune into San Diego 6. We have a lot of the surf conditions or surfline.com. It's really, it's an easy call or, or uh, um, you know, just go to the internet and find out the conditions. You don't want to go out if you're not an experienced surfer. Well, that's... And, and, and the conditions are rough, I exactly should say. Exactly, right. So... Left that part out. Yeah. You know, it's all based on your... your Clearly, people start out as a beginner and then they progress. But you just don't want to jump into uh, a really intense beach br uh, reef break when you're just learning. Also, another key thing is not to surf alone. Um, you know, if you're surfing alone, no one's really watching you. No one's got your back, so to speak. If you have a, uh, a fall or an injury, maybe you're going to be missed. So that kind of that buddy concept, surfing with somebody. Preferably, if you're a beginner, someone more experienced than you can really be a lifesaver. And then, if, if there is any injury, obviously, don't wait. You want to call 911 immediately. Yeah, I mean, I'm a neurosurgeon and a spine specialist, so the types of injuries that I see are the spine injuries. And if that sort of thing occurs, <clears throat> you know, you want to basically um, let the ex experts handle it. You just want to be out of the water as fast as possible and then have your, basically have your neck immobilized and then let the experts handle it from there. Call 911, get paramedics down there. You know, people can be life flighted out from the beaches. So, um, you know, there's a whole system in place here in San Diego. And, and by the way, we were talking before the show, you've treated more surfing injuries than, than you care to remember, right? I mean, That's this isn't something that, you know, we're just saying, hey, be careful, you know, before you get, this is serious stuff. It, it definitely is, and just in my um, experience, the, I've run the gamut from young kids learning to surf, experienced, um, you know, young men who just had a bad injury uh, on a reef or something like that, and then I remember one uh, patient who was a CEO of a hospital who was boogie boarding in La Jolla on a family vacation. They were down from Northern California, and she uh, had a bad injury, 
ruptured a huge disc in her neck and you know luckily could have been permanently injured operate on her and she made a perfect recovery so all right dr scott larry from alvarado hospital thanks so much for being with us you're welcome some really good information you got to be careful before you get out there yeah you know what you're getting into have fun out there all right absolutely have some fun but be careful